Hi guys, uh, welcome to Jay's Movie Review. Today we'll be looking at Patriot's Day. Um, it's based on a real life um, drama. It's an action thriller based on the 2013 Boston bombings um, where three people got killed and many were maimed. Um, the film is based on a book by Casey Sherman and Peter Burke called Boston Strong but it's directed in the film by Peter Berg and written by Peter Berg in this film. Um, you've got J.K. Sinem, John Goodman, um, you've got Boston Red Sox player David Ortiz and he performs as himself in the end. And there's a cameo appearance from the real Dung Man who was a victim of the 2013 bombings and many others. After the bombing, it's a race against time to catch these guys. Um, they, did, they weren't actual suicide bombers, so they just left bags and that and killed um, many innocent victims. Um, and basically, the FBI have joined teams with the Boston police. Sergeant Tommy Sanders is the first. He's like first on the scene. He's on like the finish line, so he's like first to respond. And all you can see is blood. Children crying, covered in blood, legs, limbs. Um, the film st um, is quite horrific, but before that scene, you kind of have a little glimpse into each of the lives of the people that are affected by this. So you've got a young couple just starting out in life. You've got a father and a child and a young family. Um, you also get a little feel of of Tommy Sanders, Sergeant Tommy Sanders, who's a bit of a disgruntled police officer he, he, he kicked someone in the mouth and he got demoted um, and this was like his final thing before he could get reinstated back into his old position as a detective the Watertown shootout was absolutely horrific you've got bombs chucking at everyone the, the police officers because it's a fire it's a shootout at the end um, but before that um, the, the one of the younger two brothers is held out on getting a gun from this police officer at MIT. Um, you, you have a little background about him. Um, he, he's, he's all excited because he's going on a date with an MIT student. Um, but he's on a, like a late shift and things are dying down. And the brothers come up to him and they try and get his gun, but he resists. So he gets shot three times and he's still alive and still hanging on there. And he won't give him this gun by all means. Moments. In the car jacking scene with the student, I thought there was some really good acting there between between the two brothers, terrorists, and and the Chinese student. The shootout was just big explosions, cars blowing up everywhere, you got cops covered in debris. Um, it it really is a true story of human compassion and love overcoming evil in the face of terror and the community pulling together. Sergeant Tommy Sanders is, I, I believe, is the. I mean, they got you've got all the different departments working together. You've got the FBI and that, and Tommy Sanders knows the area, so they ask him to recreate the steps so they can track CCTV of these these guys. Um, the storyline was a little bit once thin on the bomber's side. Um, you have two brothers living with a, with his what with the older brother's wife and kid. Um, and the youngest, the younger terrorist was a student. But throughout the film, you've got this voice, this theme of unity and drive and to live. And what the scary thing is about this film is it's a true story. Um, and I'm, I think it's a bit of a touchy subject. It could be a touchy subject. I mean, if you're from Boston, you don't want to see a film or... You know, it's only, what, four years ago, so you don't really want to relive them tragedies. And I suppose, in a way, it's kind of glamorising it. Um, I felt that, so I tried to separate that from, treat it as a film, but... The Chinese guy, he was, he was, he was good as well. Um... But throughout this, and then you get the true story at the end of the film of what happened. Um, and it really stirs you in 
in a, it gives you hope. Um, but I'm going to give it a rating. I'm, I'm stuck between ratings between 7.5 and 8 out of 10. But I think I'm going to go for 7.5. If you like this for review, please like and subscribe or leave your comments down below. And I'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.